Hi, my name is Galen Lewis. I'm a product manager on Salesforce's mobile SDK team. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to add biometric authentication to your mobile SDK apps. In the end, your app will look something like this. When your user's session expires, they can unlock it in an instant with biometrics. This feature is available today with mobile SDK 11.0 for you to implement in just three simple steps. And we can start by configuring biometric authentication in our connected app. So following from our documentation, which is linked in the description of this video, let's log into our Salesforce org and go to our connected app manager. From there, we can go into our connected app and add an attribute called enable biometric authentication. From there, we can enter in any string. We just have to make sure that we put it in quotes. Here I'm putting in a one, press save, and now our connected app is all set up. So we've enabled biometric authentication on the server side. Now let's move on to step two, implementing biometric authentication in our code. So you can see I'm pasting in this code here, and this line that I'm highlighting came straight from our documentation. The rest of the code is Swift specific. Now let's move on to step three, platform specific steps. So in this case, I'm working with iOS and with Swift. So there's just one more step that we have to do. To protect user privacy, here we have to declare that we intend to use Face ID for authentication in the app. I'm going to go into our info property list file, and I'm going to add a property that explains what the app uses Face ID for. We can enter that explanation as a string here, and that's it. Now we can rebuild the app, and when it launches, we see that we're logged in with Face ID. And that's all for today. In this quick take, you saw how to add biometric authentication to mobile SDK apps by first configuring it in your connected app, then by implementing it in your code. Biometrics are a convenient and secure way for your users to unlock your app, and they save them from having to recall and manually enter their passwords as often. To learn more, you have resources, including our documentation, that you can check out right away. And if you have questions, you can post them in our Mobile SDK Trailblazer community group. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel to stay in the loop as more videos like this one are posted.